Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of daily current affairs by SSB Crack Exams. I am Chetana Pura and I will be taking you today's session for 25th of May. So let's begin guys talking about SSB Crack Exam. So we are a one stop solution for all the major difference rated examinations like FCAT, CDS, NDA. For more details regarding the courses that we offer, you can visit our official website learn.sbcrackexams.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can get all the latest current affair videos and other videos related to defense and current events. You can also follow us on Instagram and don't forget to download our Android app SSB Crack Exams from Google Play Store. Now we shall start our session like every day with the question of the day from yesterday's session. So I asked you guys about what is NAFED, that is NAFED. And the answer for this is National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India. This is the full form of NAFED Limited. And it was established on the auspicious day of Gandhi Jayanti, that is 2nd October, of course, back in the year 1958. Now, NAFED is registered under the Multi State Cooperative Societies Act, and it was set up with the object to promote cooperative marketing of agricultural produce to benefit specially the farmers. Agricultural farmers are the main members of NAFED or this organization who have the authority to say in the form of members of the general body in the working of NAFED. Right? Now let's move ahead guys. We shall start our uh, today's session with the first article which is regarding the Mission Saga. So Mission Saga's update is that INS Kesari which was used for Mission Saga uh, has reached the uh, he has reached at the port Lewis, which is in Mauritius. So, as a part of Mission Saga, we all know that Indian naval ship that is INS Kesari has entered Port Lewis, Mauritius on 23rd of May 2020. The government of India is also aiding friendly foreign countries in dealing with COVID-19 pandemic. And towards this, INS Kesari is carrying what what uh, what was the purpose of this uh, entire mission and what actually was the ship carrying so it was carrying covid related essential medicines and a special consignment of ayurvedic medicines especially for the people of mauritius right a 14 member specialist medical team comprising of indian navy doctors were also sent and paramedics is also embarked on board on the ship right Further, the assistance to Mauritius, it is a part of the Government of India outreach amidst the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We all know that. Mission Sagar is in consonance with the Prime Minister's vision of security and growth for all in the region Sagar. Right? That is all the countries which are uh, in the region of southern part of Indian Ocean. Right? Southern part of India that is in inside uh, uh, Indian Ocean. Further, this mission uh, highlights the importance of importance accorded by India to relations with countries of IOR that is Indian Ocean region and builds on the excellent relations existing between the two countries to battle this particular pandemic. This operation is being progressed in close coordination. It is monitored by Ministry of External Affairs and all the other agencies which are related to this particular field of government of India. Now let's move to our next news. Next news about the uh, is about Kangra tea and this tea could lower coronavirus activity better than even the HIV drugs, for example, hydrochloroquine. So ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, recently uh, they will replace hydrochloroquine with anti-HIV drugs to improve immunity and possibly reduce viral replication in their revised protocols. So they have revised their protocols and they will be replacing the hydrochloroquine, the famous hydrochloroquine uh, medicine with the anti-HIV drug, which will improve, of course, immunity and possibly reduce viral replication. However, the chemicals in Kangra tea, which is found in uh, Himachal Pradesh, which is grown in the uh, Palampur district of Himachal Pradesh, they could also be effective in boosting immunity as they can block coronavirus activity better, even better than anti-HIV drugs. Who, uh, and this was said by Dr. Sanjay Kumar, who is currently the director of Institute of Himalayan Bio Research Technology, which is based in again Palampur, Himachal Pradesh. Right. So basically, it's uh, this Kangra tea is harvested in the region of Himachal Pradesh near the Palampur district, and that is why uh, th that place is also famous for this cultivation of Kangra tea. 
right further using computer based models the scientists also screen total 65 bioactive chemicals or polyphenols that could bind to a specific viral protein more efficiently than commercially available anti hiv drugs and we, uh, when i'm saying 65 bioactive chemicals i'm talking about the chemicals present in kangra tea further these chemicals might also block the activity of the viral protein that helps the virus to thrive inside human cells right so which is also a good sign further t vinegar technology has been transferred to a company based in dharamshala which is t vinegar has anti obesity properties is also one of the characteristic of kangra tea also herbal green and black teas blended with ayush recommended herbs ayush ministry has uh, recently released some herbs which can be used to boost the immune system of a uh, human being uh, they can be if uh, they are if uh, these tea the green tea or the black tea made by kangra tea leaves if they are blended with those chemicals or ayush recommended herbs then it can also be highly beneficial these products could be very useful for boosting specially immunity against covid-19 and it has been said by ihbt scientists right now further moving ahead to our next news it is about hil that is hindustan insecticides limited and it has geared to provide locust control pesticide to iran now hil which is a psu under department of chemicals and petrochemicals ministry of chemicals and fertilizers ensured timely production and supply of pesticides for farming community we all know that the new farming season is in progress hil is now in process of production and supply of approximately 25 million ton of melathion uh, technical for supply to locust control program to iran under government to government arrangement for the union ministry of external affairs has approached hindustan insecticides limited for manufacturing as well as the supply of said commodity to iran okay the company has as of now exported 10 million tons of fungicides already uh, to uh, to latin american country which is peru which is in south america and another 12 mega ton sorry um, uh, million tons will be exported in next one week right so apart from uh, iran it has already exported uh, approximately uh, 10 million uh, 10 million ton and it is uh, in process to export another 12 million ton to another country which is peru which is situated in south american continent okay now further moving ahead another news is coming from the emission norms related to bs6 so emission norms of for l7 which is a quadricycle quadricycle is just a uh, micro sized uh, car four wheeled car for example you can see in the image category for bs6 notified theek okay? hai so the ministry of road transport and highways has issued notification uh, and the notification number is gsr 308e and it was released on 22nd may 2020 regarding this emission norms for l7 that is quadricycle and it is in the category for bs6 for the uh, it was said that as soon as uh, and this notification all the recommendations in the notification will be applied as soon as the notification was released that is after 22nd of may now this notification completes all the process of bs6 for all the three different categories of vehicles in india that is l m and n the emission norms which is bs6 it is in line with the european union's uh, wmtc cycle the procedure for testing is laid down in ais 137 part 9 further another news is coming from csir so csir has successfully de uh, developed a electrostatic disinfection machine now what is this electrostatic disinfection machine we'll be talking about this so let me first tell you what is this uh, device so this device is basically a sprayer which is which will be used to uh, you can say a uh, disinfect uh any particular place or sanitize any particular place so what is different in uh, what is the difference major difference between any conventional uh you can say uh, disinfection machine or uh, the electrostatic disinfection machine or a sprayer so in a conventional sprayer you will simply get only 180 degree area of coverage but in case of uh, electrostatic disinfection it covers the entire target object in 360 degree 
right so these are some of the major this is in fact one of the major major uh, you can say advantage of electrostatic sprayer or disinfection machine over any conventional sprayer right so uh, apart from that the some of the uh, some of some more advantages are smaller droplet size then they are target specific they don't deviate much from their target the losses of the disinfectant solution is very less uniformly it is covered uniformly front and back deposition apart from that it is applicable for all kinds of fluids it can it is of course seven to eight times so much more efficient than the conventional methods and accuracy is also very very high now uh, uh, i'll tell you the basic principle of how does this work so basically the fluid which is inside the sprayer it is negatively charged and the object over which or the target object over which the spray has to be spraying has to be done that is positively charged so as soon as the liquid leaves the sprayer it basically gets attracted electrostatically with uh, the you can say the target object and they get attached to each other they get stick to uh, the spray uh, sorry the liquid gets stick around all around the surface of the target object and that is how a 360 degree coverage of entire sprayer is uh, taking place right so this is the basic principle of uh, you can say uh, basic principle of the working of this particular device for the way in which which are the sectors where this will be applicable or this can be used so uh, of course healthcare sector that will be uh, the uh, you can say uh, it will be used in healthcare sector it has immense potential and we all know how important it is especially in the times of uh, crisis like uh, covid-19 pandemic how important it is to disinfect each and every single thing which is around or which is exposed to dis uh, which is exposed to any kind of virus or pathogens for the public transports also then we have fruits and vegetables poultry then airports and railways which uh, where the seats and uh, you can say the common places had to be disinfected every now and then for the hotels and hotels and catering services and workplace and offices as well okay now further moving ahead we shall end our uh, session with covid 19 current update so as of uh, 25th of may till 8 am in the morning uh, total number of confirmed cases has reached 1,38,845 and it has also recorded the highest number of cases in a single day again uh, that was 6,977. Although the number of active cases is still uh, below 80,000 that is 77,103 and number of cured cases has also increased 57,721 with the largest single day increase in the number of cured patients 3280. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, the number of death toll has crossed the 4,000 4, mark and it is 4,021 as of now. Okay guys, now it's quiz time. So, uh, the first question for today is when, in which of the following years was NAFED established? So, I have told you guys in this particular session only. You can go back to the session and check the answer. The correct answer for this would be option D which is 1958. Now, further the next question is Kangra tea is grown and related to which of the following states of India? So, your options are Sikkim, Kerala, Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh. See, all these three, uh, you, all these four options are those states in which in some way or another, in some variety of uh, or other variety, tea cropping or tea harvesting is done, right? But the correct answer for Kangra tea is it is specially in Pal near the Palampur district of Himachal Pradesh. So, the correct answer for this would be Himachal Pradesh, right? The correct answer is option D. Now, the question of the day for today's session is what is BS emission norms of India? BS stands for Bharat Sage. You have to, uh, you can say, uh, give the basic details in the comment section. The correct answer for this would be given in the next session, that is tomorrow's session. Till then, uh, take care and be safe. Jai Hind.